There are a lot of grocery stores in Amsterdam. Like, a lot. Here's one. And here's another. And just in case you missed those, there's one over there too. Grocery stores, markets, butchers, and bakers are woven into the urban fabric so that no matter where you are, you're only a short walk to somewhere where you can buy fresh food. In the Netherlands, most people prefer to make small trips to buy food for today or the next few days rather than large weekly or fortnightly shopping trips by car. This by itself isn't that unusual. Most cities I've been to in Europe and Asia have grocery stores and markets dotted throughout the city. What's interesting about the Netherlands is how optimized everything is to make your grocery shopping trip as fast as possible. Shops are not set back behind a sea of parking, so it's easy to stop in if you're walking by. In fact, many grocery stores do not have any car parking at all, and it's common to see them in pedestrianized areas accessible only by walking or cycling. Of course, bicycle parking is always provided right out front, making it also very quick to shop by bicycle. Just pull up and lock the bike. Grab some reusable shopping bags and get a basket. Some of the more modern shops provide hand scanners that allow you to scan your items as you shop. Scanning each item as you place it in your bag also means you don't need to rebag your groceries at the checkout. Since everything has already been scanned, the checkout process is very quick. Just tap your contactless payment card and grab your receipt. The exit gate opens when you scan your receipt. Drop the bags back into the bike, unlock, and we're off. For a typical grocery trip, I can be in and out in less than 10 minutes, and it's easy to do whenever I'm on my way home. If you'd rather not buy plastic wrap foods and only interact with machines, there are markets available too. Often, these have better prices, especially on fresh produce. And if you'd prefer to have your vegetables hand-polished and looking like a magazine shoot, you can visit shops the Dutch like to call vegetable jewelers. That is, if you can afford them. It's honestly refreshing to live somewhere where grocery shopping isn't some big ordeal. In Canada or in the US, I would literally spend more time just waiting at traffic lights on the way to the grocery store than my entire trip to the grocery store here in the Netherlands. I always found the North American car-centric grocery trip to be really messed up. Driving out to the edge of town in heavy traffic, waiting in huge checkout lines, Buying everything in massive quantities, effectively turning your house into a convenience store just to save a few bucks. And who eats this much food? The truth is, nobody does. The US and Canada have the highest level of food waste in the world. Almost one quarter of all food purchased by consumers goes to waste, and the bulk shopping culture definitely plays a part in that. You're much less likely to eat fresh food if you're buying it in bulk for the week rather than if you stop on your way home from work. Of course, when everyone is forced to travel everywhere by car, nothing is a quick trip anymore, especially in rush hour. There have been several times where our family has lived without a car in various cities around the world. When you tell this to someone in North America, often the first question they ask will be, But how do you buy groceries? I like buying groceries in small quantities. It allows us to eat whatever we're in the mood for that day. And with two boys who eat a lot, it's good that unexpected grocery trips are quick. Small grocery trips make it easier for our family to eat healthy, fresh food, and we're less likely to have food that goes to waste. It's nice to live in Amsterdam, where quick grocery trips are not just possible, they're actively encouraged. And nobody ever asks us, but how do you buy groceries? <laughs>